All right. Uh, today we are sitting with uh, Hunter, who is a student uh, from CLE in Austin, who is just ending his uh, program this week. Uh, so uh, I want to ask you a few questions about your experience here. Um, first off, uh, how would you describe yourself prior to starting at CLE? Ooh, that's a hard one. I would say very talkative, very uh, childish, kind of, uh, and also I was very more connected to the adults in my life more than uh, the people around me. Yeah, like which adults are you talking about? Like older adults. Uh huh. Like teachers yeah. and your parents. And their friends, yeah. And that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, how would you describe yourself now? I would say that I am. Uh, I, I was a huge hugger before I came here, and I've learned not to do that as much. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm glad about that. And I am more friendshiping with my friends and friendshiping with my parents' friends, if that makes sense at all. All right, so it sounds like you learned a little bit about boundaries. Yes, yeah. and what friends I should have versus what friends I probably shouldn't have. Uh-huh. All right, cool. Nice job. Uh, what goals did you say that you managed to reach? Would you say that you've been, managed to reach since you've been here at CLE? I'd say one goal was the, the boundaries, the, uh, the hugging everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that went really well. And I think uh, part of the problem, part of what I learned to get out of them was trying to get as much as I could out of it. Yes, I made mistakes, but I think, you know, I, I got a whole lot out of it than, I, than maybe I thought I would. Yeah. And I put, was probably a little bratty at the start too, so I feel like I'm not as bratty. Uh huh. Do you know what I always say about mistakes? What? They're second chances. They are second chances, but I also say that you rarely learn from what you do well. You yeah. usually learn from what you don't do well. Yeah, exactly. Good job. Um, so, who all do you think helped you kind of reach your goals here? I would say the CLE staff. Uh, I think them bugging me helped. <laughs> Uh, I would say they helped anyway, but I think begging me to to try and make friends helped. Uh, I think even uh, giving me the opportunity to be with people of the community or people who come in from the community to to listen to uh, to us talk or when we go out to the community to talk about you know what CLE does, you know, the college, you know, uh, side the the career development side. Do you want to give any shout outs to any particular staff members here that have helped you through the time that you've been here? I'd like to give a shout out to Dr. Scott, as I call him, Dr. Uncle Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and to Katie, she's been uh, really helpful in a uh, career developing, and Scott's been really helpful and uh, mentoring as well as Susan. Uh, They've gotten to know me so well. I think they, you know, probably what's in my head more than I do half the time. Uh, and I would definitely like to give a shout out to everybody that's either been a staff member, that's currently a staff member. I don't, I know all of them, but I haven't really gotten to work with all of them. But it's been nice to gotten to work with the ones that I have worked with, work with the one, or not at least meet with the ones that I haven't worked with, uh, and at least uh, be friendly with them. And all of this is I, uh, I become friends with, uh, it is definitely going to be hard to not, when I, you know, come here every single day or come back to Austin every weekend and come and hang out with these people. But I, I really am grateful for the friendships I have made uh, and for the ability to learn about friendships and, uh, and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's totally going to be hard for us, too. Like, you're usually the guy that's kind of coming around and checking in on all of us and seeing how we're all doing. Probably more than one time today. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So it's yeah, it's definitely going to be something that we've missed. It's been relatively quiet so far this week since you, I guess you ended everything last week. But, like, uh, absolutely, yeah. But yeah, it's cool to see you today, for sure. Yeah. Um, so would you say that your path here has been kind of like a level path, or do you feel like, you know, you've constantly grown, or do you feel like you've kind of gone like this a little bit? I feel like I've gone like this. I feel like I've grown, and then there's so much where I take like that growth, and then I just kind of like make a you out of it. Uh huh. 
But where do you feel like you are now compared to where you started? I feel like I'm like I'm higher in my knowledge and uh -huh. stuff than I was uh, when I started, but I feel like I do have learning too, but I feel like that part uh, of my learning is going to have you know, I'm going to have to learn by myself and learn what works for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so if you could identify one moment or like one situation that kind of uh, was impactful for you or something that kind of turned around your trajectory here or helped you, like what would you say it was? I think in college it was when Kate begged me every time I saw her to take notes. Uh -huh. And I think uh, I had two friendships that went sour that I am grateful to, uh, to have at least learned something from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. And then uh, one of the things, uh, so, so can you talk a little bit about maybe um, in terms of school, like what you were able to accomplish here in school? Yes, uh, in school I I took two of the classes, which, I, which I'm glad I took, you know, I'm glad I was able to go to that amount of college, uh, although one, some, it was some of the classes that went over and over again, mm -hmm. but I feel like I learned that at, at the end that I was quite ready for college because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And I think I, I learned a lot about how college operates versus how I operated during high school. Because mm -hmm. it's a very different life and lifestyle, I think. Absolutely, yeah, there's a lot more, uh, there's, there's a lot less structure, right? Yeah. Uh, and then you got what degree again? I didn't get a degree, but I got a certificate in, uh, in the medical field as a Certified nursing assistant. Uh, and you got a job? Yes, and I got a job. <laughs> yes. I have now quit. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, one thing I wanted to do for the audience out there is to kind of share my favorite uh, Hunter moment, if that's okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Right. So, um, so Hunter went with me and a group of students to Britain a couple of years ago. Yeah. And we definitely had our ups and downs during the trip. Uh, he, we may or may not have forgotten our passport on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my favorite Hunter moment was when we went to uh, Hyde Park and we were all there as a group. And Hunter approached this older couple that had a couple of dogs. And he struck up a conversation with them because that's what Hunter does. Yeah. And um, I went and checked in on Hunter and asked um, the couple um, if Hunter was bothering them or if they were like fine with the conversation. Yeah. And they said, oh, we love him. And then uh, through that process, we found out that the lady that was there um, ran a theater program for students with disabilities. And we were able to get discounted tickets to see the uh, play, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, which was really cool. And we all got shirts and that kind of stuff. So and we kind of almost lost a student too, but luckily I was the adult and got the student safely. Yes. So I'm sure um, you know what I'm talking about. I absolutely know what you're talking about. Uh, so, um, so Bernie did a great job of using his strengths to actually help out the group there, even though he didn't know it. So that was awesome. So my final question for you is, yeah, you're going to be going back, uh, where are you going to be going next? I, I, don't, I don't think I really know yet, but uh, Odessa is a final destination. Okay, so Odessa is your hometown, right? Yes. And what's your plan once you get to Odessa? I am, I, I am technically not sure what the plan is, but once we figure out the actual plan, I'm going to go home, help with stuff at the house, help with uh, church moving, that should be fun because I don't really want to move some, something again because I moved my school a couple years ago, actually right before I moved here, and that was not that fun. And then I got sick in the middle, so I missed the first half of the week of the new school year. Uh, but I am going to go and help them uh, and go to church some more because I really need to do that. And just be out in the community, join a young professionals club. Uh, when I get home and find and eventually find a job and get my driver's license because you can't do a whole lot of public transportation in the middle of the day, so. Wow, that's a, those are a lot of really good goals for you. Holy cow, that's amazing.
but we, we've kind of thought this out. Yeah. So, um, is there are there any final like comments you want to make uh, before you head out from the program? I, I can't think of a whole whole lot, but I do say this has been a very helpful program for me in particular. I can't speak for anybody else, uh, but uh, you know, I, I, I do like this program. Well, there are things that I, I do disagree with. I, I think that you know that these people know me, so if I do disagree with anything that that they know that's good for me, I can at least ask them. You know, you know, we can talk about you know that, and, and in in any situation, uh, concerning me and fellow students. But yeah, but yeah, yeah I, I do really love being in a program that teaches me how to live like an adult. So I don't just go out the wood and figure out everything myself. Because I would probably be a total wreck if I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, I wish you the best of luck as you uh, move on. Um, I can't uh, express enough how much I believe that you've learned here. Like, um, you've learned a lot about taking care of your stuff, taking care of your apartment. You've gotten a job. Uh, holy cow, you've learned so much. Congratulations. And I can't wait to hear about how your next, uh, the next stage of your journey goes. So you got to stay in touch. Yeah, and I will. I have to. That's right. a requirement for when we all leave, I know. Right. Well, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.